Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. In this opportunity, we're going to talk about the cloud key and how we can migrate from a Windows computer running the Windows controller to a cloud key. Uh, this is the scheme A or the schematics of what we would have in order to have running our Wi-Fi network that is controlled by a Windows PC controller, which is very, very fast, very reliable, and it also has a lot of um, uh, cool stuff that you can do with this in order to have a very fast network running. This is very convenient in case that you have always a Windows PC controller running, but in some opportunities we might need to have the Cloud Key controller in order to have our network running on a, on a device that is not going to consume as much power as the, as the computer, or you don't want to have a computer always running in order to have or administer or manage your Wi-Fi network. This is exactly what we're going to do today. This is what we're going to step by step guide you to do um, by backing up from your Windows PC controller to a .unf UNF file that you're going to be able to upload your file to your Cloud Key Generation 1. Okay, so this is exactly what we're going to have. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log on to this computer and we're going to extract your configuration from it. So let's go to that uh, local host in this case, because it is the computer that I'm working on. I'm just going to click on the settings and then we're going to proceed. Oh, let's check a little bit the controller that we have first. This one is the 5524. It's a little bit different than the one that our cloud key has. Remember that the auto backup that we have configured will only work if the if the controller is working or is running at the specified time. If you don't have it running, of course, the backup is not going to take place. So mm, let's go to maintenance and in maintenance, you're going to have the backup and we're going to proceed to download the backup of the of the actual or the current configurations of your device. In this case, we have it here in downloads and in downloads, we have that 5.5.24 UNF file that we're going to proceed to uh, install in the other in the cloud key. Mm, once again, the backup only works if you have running your device. Let's go now and log on to the cloud key. It can be from the same computer. Remember that you just have to have the, the IP address. This, uh, this device or this procedure we have done in another video. Let's go to manage and let's open up, uh, let's authenticate to this, to this uh, cloud key. Once we are right here, we're going to see that um, right here, that it has a couple access points already configured in this other device. This is just to show you that you don't need to have it uh, just reset. You just, you can do it in a running cloud key. Let's go to maintenance again, but we're not going to use the backup section. We're going to go to the down to the restore and we're going to choose the file that we downloaded from the other computer. We're going to open it right here. And this is a process that takes approximately a couple minutes. After those couple minutes, you're going to be able to just manage your network or your Wi-Fi network from your new device. While this happens, uh, I needed to tell you that it is important to tell you that this process is basically done in networks that you need to have, for example, guest portals running or you have to or it is important for you to have access to the logs, changes, alerts and everything that can be done from the from this um, controller. It is important also to notice that your configuration once done, you don't need to have a running computer or a running or a running cloud key in order for them to work. Uh, your Wi-Fi network is still going to work, but it is not going to provide you with statistics like like the ones that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. Mm, you just you're just going to be able to to use it, and the security is going to be fine. But you might need it if you're going to use a guest portal, vouchers, uh, if you need to configure, etc. Right here, we're going to log back in with the username and password that your other controller had. This is not the username and password that your cloud key had before being restored. Now we go to maintenance and we're going to see that it has, uh, no, let's go to devices and we're going to see that our devices that were that used to be in the other controller, in the Windows controller, are now being controlled by the cloud key. Uh, for example, right here it says that the status is going to show me that it requires an update, which is uh, 
which is okay to do it once it has been out for a few weeks. I do not recommend you for you to, up to upgrade to a newest firmware unless you see necessary. Okay, everyone, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna show you, for example, how scalable this, this solution is. This one is uh, another solution that we have running on another uh, on other premises and it has about 35 devices wireless LAN devices it has a USG it has an HMAX router and it has about 800 to 900 users in normal days uh, and in some cases it has 700 or 600 and right now it is a, a low activity time and we're going to see that it only has a few clients connected to each one of these uh, access points it is important for you to notice that or like I told you in another video you have it ordered by the number of users connected to each one of the access points so you can monitor which one of your devices may need upgrade to a more concurrent users access point okay thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and it was of a lot of help remember that we do not have any commercial links to the brands that we are evaluating here we just like to share our experience with technology thank you very much and see you next time